People, my people, and before we get any further, no, this is not one of the numbered reviews that I promised to do, I think 18 of them. So I got a sneaking suspicion that due to interaction the other day, there might actually be another three more reviews. So we could well be going to 21 reviews. Um, I will generally, I'll confess, straight up now, confession time. I Erden, um, who will probably adjust my, my camera. I'm not generally a fan of um, alcohol that comes in tins unless it's a beer. Um, Pre-mixed drinks and that, I think, like, you know, you see the bourbon, bourbon and colas and that, and, the, and that, and you basically go, it's the cheap garbage that they um, can't afford to um, pour down the drain due to either profit or environmental reasons. So, in the plunder that I took out of Genie Palooza and was it, 17 bottles of different types of gin and all that stuff, it was a lot of plunder, as you well know, because I got little upcoming reviews. I um, picked up a four pack, or was given a four pack by Archie Rose, the distillers in Sydney. Yep, the ones in Old Sydney Town. Go south of the Harbour Ridge in the direction of Botany Bay, where the airport is, and you're going to nail that. You're going to smack Archie, smack at the kids. That's what they said to me. Um, and what I picked up was actually this. What my professors will tell me is that this is the tonic with lemon and pepperberry, and it actually involves their signature, signature gin. So this is the second one. I actually had one before because I thought, okay, I'll give this a bit of a test drive. So Sound of Happiness, or one of the Sounds of Happinesses, Now, I have had this in the fridge for about half an hour. Um, <clears throat> and I'll tell you straight up that what is selling me on this is, apart from the fact that it's gin and tonic, and it's a signature dry gin involved, is there are going to be times when we simply can't, <laughs> for reasons um, either of you know, not letting the whole world know that we're all alcoholics, or... You know, the beaches get really iffy about um, glass because you know, broken bottles, bare feet, um, you know, ambulances, that sort of stuff. And I think that this is a brilliant idea. It's the GNT you have when you can't take the whole bottle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we won't go there. So, lights. Out of the can. Oh yeah, this is, um, I gave Selena a try of the first one and it was almost a case of when is too much citrus ever enough. Um, this Australia can is a pre-mixed uh, pre um, drink, PMD, form the lingo is, um, is really big on the citrus. So let's see if the ice changes the chemistry. is involved. As we know it's tonic water. Oh yeah. If you <laughs> you like citrus and you really like your citrus, um this is the stuff. Gin and tonic with lemon and pepperberry from Archie Rose. Um, I actually have to look up how much these cost because, like I say, I got this for free. It's one of the not so bad points of about this job, apart from the fact I am sealing some, swilling, putting some amazing gins through my liver. So, you know, do the whole bouncy ICQB typey thingy. Put it on it. Um, so. This is one of those beautiful events where um, the chemistry works. Now, let's just quietly lean in. In a couple of weeks' time, from the still, he's going to have an interview f with none other than Cameron McKenzie, the 
guy who founded and set up Four Pillars Distillery in Healesville. So just between you and me, um, you can put that into the date. It would be the 16th. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, the interview will be done, so it will be released around the 19th. Cameron has taken an hour out of his busy schedule and given it to me. So I'm going to get my tush up to Hillsville and um, we'll explore the origins of Four Pillars and let's see how much we can actually discuss in an hour. So if we, if we, actually, if we can actually get an hour of recordable material, one, I'm going to be really stoked because I'll your best friend Cameron um, and I'll be able to chop it up in the series because I tend to find out where Four Pillars comes from you know, with a name um, when actually Cameron decided that he was going to um, basically found the distillery that I'm told kicked off Australian artists in gin and after what nine years nearly ten years where he sees the distillery going in the future because let's face it, it's been hard to go in the past. So, my premix GNT from Marshy Rose has chilled. Oh, that is just disgusting. Oh, it's a disgusting example of if you're going to do a job properly, do a job, do it, do it properly. And um, this does the job impeccably. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where hot summer's day. Um, I haven't had spent too many hot summer's days in Sydney recently. Um, for like about the last 20 years. That's, it's been that long since I was last up in Sydney in the hot summer's day. Um, yeah, this would take the worry out of pretty well any equation. Um, if you're stressed, you're tired, you that other thing, um, drink this. It is really good. Um, and it completely upends my opinion of canned goods, particularly canned drinks. Um, so I'm reformed. I shall go and see if any other big distilleries in Australia are doing this sort of thing. And I think I might be, um, Splicing them into the extra reviews. This is you know, the review when you're not having a review. So, incredibly good drinking. Drink it ice cold. And it's basically alcoholic um, lemon juice. Oh, um, the citrus is really that big. It's, there's no mistaking that... A lot of lemons died to um, to be part of this gin. They threw themselves into the um, the still. Just amazingly good drinking. Uh, I could not speak any higher of this. Like I say, this is the very first time I've actually gone for a um, Australian uh, pre-mixed in a can. And uh, um, yeah, that song from Shrek, I'm a Believer. It's by the monkeys. You know, when I saw her face, now I'm a believer. Yes, stop torturing your audience. I didn't stop singing at them. Um, yeah, some of that first rate drink. Um, I look forward to getting into Archie's um, product. And it's actually this one that's in here. There's the similarity in, in colours. Who would have thought? I love it when I'm razor sharp. So does the other half. Yeah, you fail to see the blinding and obvious for a boringly long amount of time. My wife will tell you. And don't ask the ex wife, but what's the first name? I'm an asshole. According to her, she actually called me something else. She called me um, an asshole, and I looked at her and went, yeah, you're, I have a problem with that. And she went, Oh, really? I'm like, Yes. You com forgot complete ad um, when you were talking, calling me an asshole. But that's just. A little bit of a side into my ex marriage. Um, so the wife will love the fact that I've failed to see the blindingly obvious for about a month. 
Um, do yourself a favour. With a bit of hot weather forecast. Yes, Melbourne's finding out have a 30 degree day. God, I can't wait for that. I'm so sick of being cold. Um, and I'll catch you next week with the full on review of Hapusha. So if you know one Sanskrit word apart from karma, no Hapusha. Because Hapusha is Sanskrit for juniper. And it's a gin. Who would have thought? Ah, yep. Catch you next week with this baby. Um, Be good actually don't be good go ahead and send um and don't drink more just drink better bye